Hello, my name is Josh Andrews. Uh, I'm offensive lineman for the Atlanta Falcons, and something you may not know about me is that I'm personally with narcolepsy. That started like at the age 12, and well, like as I got older, I realized it more and more myself, and my friends would realize it, and they were like, "Dude, you just you're a really sleepy dude." It's really no matter what time of the day, if I got in the car as a passenger, I would just be knocked out in the car. I just write it off as me playing sports, you know, and exerting all my energy in sports, and that would be my time to rest, you know, and. That's just how I took it as I got older. My mom's a respiratory therapist, so she always thought that I had sleep apnea. That's what she did for a living is diagnose people with sleep apnea. So I got tested for sleep apnea, and first time I got tested, I had to go back to college, so I never really got a chance to get the results back. But it wasn't until I met my, my girlfriend, wife now, she noticed that I would be sleepy all the time too. You know what I mean? And she was like saying, like, you need to get tested, you need to test it. And I was just like, no, I'm good, I'm okay. Just tired from sports, you know what I mean? Or just tired just in general, you know? I just sleep more than the average person and didn't really think about it. And then years go on, this is probably 2016, 2017 now, and me and my wife are driving. And like, I'm me being stubborn, like, okay, I can drive, I'm good. And like, we almost go off the road and I'm like, all right, my wife's like, you can't keep doing this to yourself. You're gonna like kill yourself at this point. You know what I mean? So you need to get tested or figure out what's going on with you. And at that point, I was like, okay, maybe I should get another test and see what's going on. So I did another sleep test. And then I did a multiple latency test where you take five naps and see what happens with those five naps. I went to rim all five times. So like, oh, right off the back, they're like, yeah, you have narcolepsy. And I was like, oh, I feel like it was still surreal to me. I'm like, man, what is narcolepsy? You know, I didn't, really get a full understanding of it. When I think of narcolepsy, I think of uh, right off the back, Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo, and the dude, the, the, the girls at the table just fall asleep. And I'm like, all right, I don't have that. You know what I mean? So like, it's still not real to me at that point, you know? And I felt like once I get older and older, I'm like noticing these symptoms. I did like a little research and, and figuring out what this is. And there's definitely been multiple times where I just feel like I'm, strapped down or someone's just holding me down. And no matter how strong I am, I cannot get up, you know? And no matter who I see, like I can hear them, I can like see them and I cannot get up for the life of, for anything, you know? And it's, it's scary, you know what I mean? Cause you're like, hey, am I gonna wake up? Am I paralyzed though? There would be times where I'm laughing with my friends and I'll be laughing hard. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, just like I buckle or I like feel like I lose my breath or like, my knees collapsed for just, just a little bit, not really anything significant, but now knowing what cataplexy is, I know there's like some sort of cataplexy going on. It'll happen every once in a while, but the doctors explain to me what this is, and I'm like, dang, like, thinking back now, I've, this has been experiencing this since I was 12. Those were like the, really the steps that took me to take action. World Narcolepsy Day, it's, it's important to me just because that for the majority of people, including me, I've gone most of my life misdiagnosed or not knowing that I had narcolepsy. And, and the people know that nar narcolepsy is a thing and there's a community of people around the world that you can share your ideas with and really just talk to and have the courage to go and get diagnosed and see if you do have narcolepsy. But I can just making that much of a difference can, can save somebody's life, you know, at the end of the day. So I feel like that's why World Narcolepsy Day is really that important to me.